Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, today we have um, a surprise video. I didn't think I was going to do this originally because I was like it's not that important but then I was like mm, I kind of want it though. So today we will be making Songo's little face mask. I thought originally I was like I'm not going to make it because it's just like it doesn't matter that much. But with COVID and everything, and for future conventions, the mask could actually come in handy. So we're gonna do that today. Um, I'm gonna be using foam. So the original foam that I used to make all of the padding, all of her little armor, that's what I'll be using today. So um, just a quick update. I did purchase a wig. This is the wig. So it's one of those wigs that came pre-ponytailed. So it's got like this and then a clip that doesn't clip very well, but whatever. And then I'm just going to wrap a piece of red fabric around it to make it. And for the most part, I like the bangs, so I'm just going to kind of leave them. It's very like very heavy on the back, so I almost never have this on, but and it's not very long, but I like it and I think it'll work just fine for it. This is its length a little short but it's okay I like it and I think it'll work and I can kind of update it later so I'm just kind of doing what I've got so I've got that going and um, I did purchase the foam for the boomerang and I sort of have an idea what I'm going to do um, but we will reach that in the next video will be one of the, I'm sure, many parts of making the boomerang. It's not going to be one video. Um, I can tell you that. So we're going to get started on making her mask. Um, I'm going to be using regular EVA foam, which I've been using for all of the padding. And I'm going to start off by stenciling out the shape that I want on my face with a piece of paper. So this is the shape that I came up with. It'll lay on my face like this. I wrote down face masks so I could put it with all of my other stencils and then I cut out a piece of foam and now I'm just going to trace out generally what it looks like. I pro I looked for like a different colored pen because I didn't really want to use a green one but whatever. That is generally what it will look like so now I'm going to use my new brand new scissors. And I'm gonna cut it out and I'm gonna try to leave no jagged edges, which is what I was having a lot of problems with before because my last scissors were not that great. So, which is really difficult because the rounded edges are super difficult for me to get to. So I'm just doing my best here, living my best life. I think that looks pretty pretty good if you ask me so it's still got very jagged edges but that's okay I'm gonna heat gun them and they'll be flat super careful when working with a heat gun and foam because it can get really hot. The foam was super hot for a hot second. So this is how it is. So it'll mold to my face like this. So, but when molding it, when molding a piece of foam to a body part, um, take a piece of excess fabric and put it between the foam and your face because you're going to burn yourself if you don't. So really quick, I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get this to mold a little bit better to my face and I will show you guys the best results I have. So after trying for so long to get this to mold, 
this is as good as it's gonna get for right now and I might try again a little bit later but um, for right now I'm just gonna get into the painting I did trace out a little bit of what I want like the kind of design I was thinking about um, and now I'm just gonna take gray paint I'm using gray by craft smart because um, they are cheaper and I'm just pouring some into a Dixie cup like I always do and I'm going to paint this whole thing gray now with the biggest brush I have so this is gonna take a hot minute and I will probably only film part of it Now we're just going to set this aside to dry and we're going to get started on the next part which is oh my god there's a spider hi spider we're going to use some of this excess foam that i've got to create the little flower flowers that go where is it going Where did it go? It's gone. I lost the spider. I was freaked out. Anyway, this is. Oh, there it is. Just behind. Ew, ew, ew. This is. Hold on. So, while we're waiting for the first layer of the paint to dry, we're going to go ahead and make the flowers that go on the edge of the um the edge of the mask so this would be so much simpler if I had a stencil so we're gonna go ahead and use uh, a piece of paper and I'm just gonna fold it so the flower has a circle in the middle. Bam, looking good so far. And then it's like, pew, pew. Oh gosh, I am so bad at drawing flowers. It's not even funny. This is a bad one. That does not look good. We're gonna try again circle and then it's like where where three four okay five okay so one two three four five ah oh, ha, 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 ha. after too long i have created the flower that i will be using it is not perfect but it is as good as it's going to get so we're gonna cut out these flowers. Ugh, see, this is already so difficult. I'm gonna cut off that extra. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the other one and show you guys what it looks like. So this is as good as it's going to get. I just heat gunned them. So now we're gonna put a layer of paint on them. So this is the side that'll be facing out. So we'll start by painting this side. And then I'm gonna set them aside to dry. 
and we're gonna grab the mask and do another coat on the mask. This is gonna take time to dry, so I will see you guys when it's dry. So it's dry now, and I've sketched out what I want the whole thing to look like, so now I'm just gonna use some black paint. I'm using um, Liquitex Basics in Mars Black for this, and now I'm just going to use a very thin brush to outline everything that I want. painting and I will show you guys what it looks like at the end. So this is what the mask looks like now that I've finished off. I did this detailing with Sharpie because I don't have a brush thin enough to do the detailing, detailing that I wanted. So I ended up just using a black Sharpie. The rest of it is painted though. So we're going to go ahead and let that dry and these have dried so they'll kind of just get placed there when um i assemble the fabric piece of it but other than that it's done all right everyone that puts the end to today's video um I'm really excited for how that turned out and I will post tons of pictures of it on my Instagrams and um, Patreon and stuff. So if you're part of my Patreon, you probably already saw this before I even posted this video, sneak peek ability. Um, if you're not signed up for my Patreon, go ahead and check it out. Link will be in my description. Um, I have some pretty awesome things included in my tiers, so please make sure that you check them out and um, make sure that you check my Instagram constantly for all of my fun updates and I will see you guys next week when we are getting started on the boomerang. Um, I hope that you guys have a great week and I will see you guys next time. Mwah.